Today I'm going to take you on a quick little tour of how to use Google Slides to create animations. This is a neat little trick. You can use it for all sorts of different reasons. Uh, the specific purpose today that we're going to use it for is how to make Google Classroom banners and how to create animations for those Google Classroom banners. Um, but I've seen lots and lots of different purposes that you can use this for. You can document processes. You can create um, animations to be put into other slide presentations, all sorts of things that we can do with this. Super easy. So let's have a look. I've got myself a brand new untitled presentation here. So let's start right there. Um, I'm going to call this Uncle Sam, uh, which you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, we don't need to worry about the themes or anything just now. So I'm going to close that bar. And the next thing that I'm going to go to is it's under page setup. So file and page setup. Now keep in mind that this step is specifically only if you're going to be doing a Google Classroom banner. Otherwise, you would not need to do this if you're going to create an animation for any other reason. I'm going to select custom. And a Google Classroom banner has a ratio of four to one. So I'm going to get this as a really nice size. I'm going to set it as 16 by 4, and I'm going to click Apply. Now we also don't need the text boxes in here anymore. Then I've already grabbed the image that I want to use for this one. I have an image of Uncle Sam, which I'm just going to scoot around a little bit and get this sorted out. Now remember, we want to make sure that he is kind of towards the center and the text that he's going to say is going to kind of be towards the center because the banner has a little bit of text down here and some information over here as well. So we don't want any of our uh, image blocked. And as I build this thing, my concerns are going to be that I'm designing the last slide in the deck. So I want to format everything that I have and then in a backwards design kind of way, I'm going to take things away to create the animation. So I've got Uncle Sam there. Let's change the background now. Um, if I click background up here, I can choose a color for it. And I think maybe let's put a nice red behind Uncle Sam there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Next thing I'm going to put in under insert, I'm going to look for in shape here, something called callouts. And in the callouts, there's a couple different text boxes that you can use. And I like this rounded one here. So I'm going to grab that one right there. And you just sort of draw the box in. Once you have the box drawn in, the little call out uh, tab here for where it's being spoken from has a yellow box there. And you can just grab that and bring that anywhere that you need. So I'm going to bring it just right for Uncle Sam's mouth there. All right. Now, double click in the box. I'm going to type in the text that I would like. And then I have to format the text. So I'm going to let everybody in my class know that there's a test today. So I'm going to select all of that. Uh, let's scale that up to a nice size and change the font. The font that I want, I like this one a lot. Uh, I'm going to use that as my font. Maybe make it nice and bold. And then let's try it at 100 and see if that works. That works pretty well. I, I think I can go just a little bit larger, though. So let's go with 110 so that I have the entire space filled. And then I can tinker around a little bit with my box to make sure that everything fits okay. So we have that happen. Let's have this go up a little bit. Let's have this go down a little bit and make sure that everything fills in. And then I think we're pretty good. Maybe I might like it to be centered. So let's center it as well. So let's go right over here. All right. Now just have a quick look and I think everything is formatted fine. Essentially what happens here is we're going to create just like an old school flip book that you will make a slight alteration in between every single one of these slides. And you can do this in lots of different ways. I have Michael Jordan here and as we travel through his slides, right, the basketball is sort of moving through. Um, Mona Lisa, I did word by word by word so that she says, I dream of painting and then I paint my dream. Okay, so now the next purpose is that we have to create uh, differences between all of our slides here. So I'm going to go over to the side here. I'm going to go Control C and Control V to create a duplicate of it. And on the previous one, I'm going to get in here and take something away. So the exclamation point goes away. Then I'm going to go over here, copy this one and paste it. And I'm going to jump into the previous one and again, take something away. Let's go in here and take something away. This is going to be the process that we continue. Copy, paste, jump in, remove something out of it. 
All right, I have my entire slide deck filled. We start with a blank bubble, and then we go T, T, E, T, E, S, T, E, S, T, and then start with the T, O, D, A, Y, exclamation point. The last thing I'm going to do, it took me 11 slides to get that done. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the last slide a couple of times just so that the message that I want of test today stays a little bit longer than all of the rest of it. We could have also made this a way simpler if we would have just done test today, test today, like this example does right here. So test today, test today. So rather than 11 slides, we could have nailed that down into just only three slides, and it would have had the same effect. So now let's head over to Tall Tweets. We're just simply going to Google Tall Tweets, um, and it brings us to talltweets.com. Once you've signed into your Google Drive, it's going to ask you to select a presentation. Here goes the presentation that I was just currently making, and I'm going to select that. Now it takes a moment for this to load. So here we are. The only one of these features that I'm going to change is the slide duration, which I'm going to put at point two so that it happens relatively quickly and then let's hit create everything looks great there the way that it shows up everything happens nice and fast the text pops in and it lingers just a little bit on test today it's perfect just the way i wanted it so now i'm going to click save when i click save then it's going to create a direct download it's going to happen right over here see we've got download right there so let's head over to our google classroom page i had this message up uh, for thanksgiving last week and all we need to do then is upload a new photo which is the one that we've done i'm going to click and drag and drop directly from my downloads drop it right in and there you go i've got my new message up we're ready to go my students all know that there's a test coming up today also, don't forget how valuable your phone might be in this situation. With uh, Google Slides, is a free application. And from Slides, I can do all of the things that I've just done, including adding the text. And we can even do things like taking pictures with your phone and inserting it directly into what we're working on. So, for example, I have one that I created with a Santa Claus icon. And that is a Lego that I have. I put a green background behind it, and I can make Santa Claus say whatever I want to at this point. Um, but that is a photograph that I've taken and inserted directly into slides because I accessed it right from my phone. Hey, I hope you find this to be as awesome as I do. This is such a creative and fun process. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. Thanks for joining me today.